sending you positive energy and sending you healing energy guys may that sign may the sun shine away all your troubles your traumas your anxiety your mental health your panic attacks i don't give up you're almost out of whatever it is that you're going through if you have lost someone my condolences if you have been blessed with a new child congratulations someone somewhere lost their loved ones and you've been blessed with new life so take care of it okay morning i'm gonna make breakfast now and then go wake up the kids <clears throat> so i'm trying to keep the vlogs short so I'll just say this and then I'll shut up and just make the food. You have, woke, you have woke up, you woke up, so you have won the biggest challenge in life, which is waking up. It's not as easy as it seems. Everybody that went to sleep yesterday is not the number of, um, of everybody that. The number of people that went to sleep yesterday is not the same exact number of the people that woke up. Most didn't woke up. They remained yesterday. They passed away. So don't waste this opportunity that the universe and the higher powers granted you to see another day under the sun so use it to your advantage manage your relationships go after your goals <clears throat> live your life on your own terms forget what other people think about you because it's none of your business just focus on you protect your peace focus on things that make your life better and brings you happiness so I'm gonna be quiet now. I'm just gonna make the food. It's good to see you. No, I need to turn off the power so it's charging. There you go. Someone make the food now. Let's go wake up the kids now. Did you sleep well? Amy yes. Did you sleep well? Yeah. Okay. I love you. Yeah. I've made your chocolate bread, the chocolate, the Nutella we bought yesterday. I've made uh, two, two bread, and okay. I've put uh, orange juice in the glass for you. Okay. We're just gonna be hurry to eat, okay? I guess we can start worrying. I don't want to 
Yeah, I'll give you one, okay? First, I'll give you the phone, okay? Massaged me yesterday because I was she saw I was feeling stressed and tense. Let's pray. Yeah, how did I cut? Dear Heavenly Father, dear Heavenly Mother, dear Heavenly Father, thank you for my kids. Thank you for allowing us to see another day under the sun. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for watching over us. I pray and ask that you bless me, my extended YouTube family, my kids, bless us with good health. Forgive us for our wrongs. We are imperfect human beings that we sin sometimes and lie and shy away from the, from your way of life. But we thank you for always protecting us despite all the wrongs that we do. Don't give up on us. Give us grace. Do you have any power, I pray, and ask for your blessings and guidance. Amen. Amen. Stop eating. I give you phone, okay? Alright guys, so because I'm trying to keep this vlog short, so we're going to eat now and then uh, I'll see you guys when uh, we're going to the car. Did you sleep well, Selma? Yeah. Amy, so did you sleep well? Yes, I did. You sleep well? Yes, I did. Okay, eat. I sleep well like a hundred stars. Nice. So what I did? I dreamed I was jumping to planet. I was, I dreamed that was jumping on a planet to planets. Good for you. Over the year we've covered plenty of Minecraft trivia and facts. So today we're joined by Boy Boy down to some of our favorites. It's new as well. Today the YouTube analytics magician told me that no one has ever subscribed to the channel with their left ring finger. And honestly, I don't know why anyone would, but if you're up to that challenge, place your digitus medicinalist on that sub button down below. Boy it's down. free and upside of time. Although bonus might not always give you the best deal, it seems okay. like they're always more than willing to give you that deal. So have you ever dreamed of you flying? Yeah, me too. Sometimes I dream of flying. And I love it. 
I can fly. I just jump and then I sh go up like. Uh, so, so what I dream? I had a nightmare one time. One time I dreamed I was driving. I was on the plane with all of my family, and then after I was I was and searching on the shooting star. So I must be that. Have a good day at school. Hi. Thank you so much for the help yesterday. You gave me a massage when I was. Uh, I got so. Um, I was having. Uh, I don't know if you guys noticed that in yesterday's uh, vlog, I started having like uh, an anxiety attack, anxiety, a panic attack. I started feeling anxiety and then started panicking. Yeah. Exactly. <laughs> yeah, it's like um I know it's on motion, it's on motion. Yeah, exactly. That's why I had to end the vlog right away. And uh it almost got worse but say almost started giving me a massage and rubbing my back and took my mind off whatever it is that I was feeling and got better. So thank you so much for being there for me, Selma. I appreciate you so much. 
Have a good day. I love you. Here, what? what? Those are your socks. You put them there. I said, Daddy, keep. Selma, bring your bag today, okay? Yeah. Or just take away the trousers from your bag. Okay. If you forget, I'll call and tell the teacher to remind you. Dear Heavenly Father, watch over my daughter. Watch over the school. Watch over the teachers. Protect them. May you shield the school with your angels and your protection and your power. Give the kids and the teachers patience, understanding and forgiveness. The same way that I'm living, I, I pray and ask that it's the same way I'm going to pick up. Happy, safe and sound. Three of any power, I praise you. Amen. Papa Ganosh, you ready? All right, let's go back and take you to school, okay? Emias, have a good day. Okay? I love you so much. I'm proud of you. You are a good boy, Emias. You have learned so much. You are talking, you are making sentences. You're welcome, you're amazing, okay? I love you so much. Kiss daddy. Morning kiss. One of these days you're going to get old enough. This is going to get uh, embarrassing for you. But I just love you so much, man. I love you so much, bruh. Bruh. Morning kiss. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? No. Are you ready? No. Are you? Are you? Are you ready? Yes, I'm ready. One, two, three, four. Oh. Oh. Have a good day, okay? Okay. So this is a new tactic that I've learned. I start giving you a word of the day while I'm walking to the car from leaving my son. That way, I have enough time to get to work. Sometimes I try to say a lot and the the journey is so short from oh my gosh I'm talking so much I'm already taking up the time anyway a quick word of the day today is not mainly uh, a quick word of the day I'm gonna share with you something that I went through and uh, if you're going through something similar so you know that it's a it's a normal human feeling to feel that and that it's okay so Bless me. Man, I need to go change my shirt. I think by accident I oversprayed the perfume on me and now it's almost <laughs> it's almost taking me out. I'm almost passing out from the it smells good by the way. Oh, let's get to the point. Alright, I'm gonna share it with you a little story, okay? <clears throat> so and I'm not gonna oh my gosh I'll just get to the point so growing up we are young we go to school and then at the younger age they start asking us in school hey what do you want to go when you grow up <coughs> so you line up in front and then you say oh I want to be a teacher I want to be a policeman I want to be a doctor I want to be so we say all these things okay uh, wishing you positive energy look how beautiful the day is that's how beautiful you are that's how amazing you are that's how much sunshine you you have you can shine away everything your problems your sorrows your anxiety so just don't hold that light in whatever it is that you're going through is trying to turn off your light but your light is much more stronger so just hang in there you're almost out of it the light that you have in you is gonna shine away all your problems all your sorrows all your anxiety all your all the obstacles in your life so don't give up I'm rooting for you yeah, so when I was young, I can't remember what I said that I wanted to do when I grow up. So again, a later, some later years in, in years later, 
I'm maybe in the seventh grade again. They learn up what you want to be when you grow up. Oh, I want to be a scientist. I want to be like this. I want to be like this. So with me, it's like everything that I wanted to be kept changing as I grew. And then in the beginning, I didn't know what that meant. So I could just say, if someone said something, then if like five kids said different things, then I'm going to say what one of the other kids said, just so I don't feel like I have no plan. But in the actual sense, I had no plan. I didn't know what was going to happen two days from two days ahead. So anyway, started growing. Time went passing. I was 15, 16 or something, 17. And then in my culture, it became like a big thing where sometimes parents can sit you and ask you, hey, so what's your plan for the future? What do you want to be when you grow up? And sometimes out of uh, fear of not saying I don't know because you're like, oh, my parents are going to be like, oh, so do you don't have any plans? Like having no plan is such a, is as a, such a bad, uh, I don't know the word I was trying to say, some big words I wanted to throw at you. Saying I don't have any plans, I don't know, is something that is so overlooked uh, be looked down upon because then they're like oh you, you have no plan your life is meaningless but in the actual sense having no plan is a is a good plan because it's good to have aspirations like oh I want to be like this and then sometimes if you think about it when we're growing up most of our lives and what you do is based on the foundation that our parents or society have laid down like oh when you reach this age you're supposed to be doing this when you reach this age you're supposed to be doing this so most of the things that we want to do is something that we don't even put our effort and uh, energy on developing the skill or talent because it's not on the list of things that you're supposed to do when you reach a certain age so we overlook those and we end up following a certain foundation or routine that the, the society has created that oh if you reach this point you have to do this and if you do something contrary to that then you're you're failing or you have no plan or you don't know what you're doing maybe things have changed now but so anyway what I'm trying to say is fast forward I'm 37 years now and I still don't know exactly what I, what it is that I want to really I do like oh this is my I have aspirations like oh I have plans and things that I want to do and that I'm doing but most of it I'm just figuring it out as I go I have plans and things that I want to do but most of the things I have no idea I don't know sometimes I don't even know what I'm doing but I keep living and figuring it out because life is all about figuring things out so to make a long story short if you are in a situation or you're at the edge where you have this pressure from society and people trying to oh what do you want to do when you grow up and you don't know what you want to do and then you're scared because for some reason you need to come up with the answer to tell oh, I want to do this and then once you say that then you feel like okay since I've told my parents that I want to do this when I grow up, I need to stick to this because if I change my mind, then it's going to feel like I'm, I'm not sure of what I'm doing in life. It's okay to change your mind. It's okay not to know everything because what you like today or want to do today might not be the same thing that you want to do tomorrow. It's called evolving, being a human where you have different uh, motivation and different... Uh, inspiration to do certain different things you're allowed to we are allowed we should allow our kids if you have kids we should allow our kids to let their mind run wild and uh, experience try to develop new things we shouldn't channel them into a certain area because that's what we wanted to do and since we couldn't do it now we want our kids to fulfill our dream if you wanted to be a doctor and then you couldn't and they're like, oh, it's okay, my kids, my kids would do this for me. No, if you fail to do that, that was your dream. Let their kids, let your children or your family member live their dream. It's called, it's 
it's an individual life we have our life you have your life you do with your life what you please to and let your family members or your kids follow their dreams too guide them protect them show them spikes on their path or oh, watch out for stuff like this because you have lived longer than them so far you have more experience so just guide them where to step and where not to step what to look out for and what to get away from and what to not indulge in because you can see the signs and I'm not teaching you guys or telling you guys how to parent because I would never do that because I don't want anyone else to tell me how to raise my kids I'm also telling you not I'm not telling you how to raise your kids I'm just uh, speaking from my experience that and maybe it's just my culture how I grew up it's not like that everywhere else but if you're in a situation where my my experience seems similar to you it's okay to have different aspirations in life and don't be scared to not have a plan at a certain point in life it's okay you can't have it or figure it out in the beginning if you do lucky for you and I'm happy for you but most of us never had it figured it out at the later age or younger age and some of us haven't even still figured it out what it is that we have to do but we keep living and that's okay too because it's called life living and figuring things out as you grow it's a journey it's a journey of their knowing so as we go we are always being surprised by experiences occurrence in life things that happen because we can't foresee the future so it's okay to have a plan and it's also okay not to know what you want to do because not everybody have their plan figured it out because sometimes our upbringing are different to the point where we don't even get to have a time to plan our future because we are going through so much. Maybe it's home, maybe it's abuse, maybe it's uh, abandonment, maybe it's neglection, maybe it's violence, abuse in your home to the point where your childhood is being robbed at a younger age. You're focusing on things that a young kid is not supposed to be witnessing. That, therefore, that overshadowed that overshadow and kills your inner childhood where where you, where you should be maybe at the time where you should be figuring figuring out what you want to do or plan things like you don't even have time for that because you're living through so much and experiencing so much trauma so it's okay not to figure things out at a certain point in life and it's okay not knowing everything it's life just because someone else has figured it out at the younger age don't try to force yourself to figure things out. It will come naturally. Just take your time. Everybody's life is different. You're going to be okay. The main point is, it's going to be okay. You're going to be okay. Don't worry. I never had it figured it out until a later age. And I'm still figuring things out. I'm still learning a lot of things that I... I don't know things about. But I'm living and I'm happy and I'm figuring it out as I go. I just have faith in myself, I have confidence in myself and I have faith in the higher power. So, yeah, that's a, a message of the day, is uh, you're not cruelless, you're not, you're not, uh, you're not useless or worthless or whatever word you might think of which you shouldn't think of yourself that way but it's okay you're okay things gonna be fine don't worry i'm here and trust me i had no clue until a later age i started having like a little bit clue of how things should go and here i am still living without all the answers but still living so keep living So keep living and you figure it out as you go. That's the word of the day. I don't know if this made sense or didn't make sense, but um, I just thought of sharing this with you. And if it didn't make sense, sometimes I have a tendency of not making sense. So it can be one of those days where I just say a lot of stuff 
and you guys are like okay what is this guy trying to say what is he talking about well welcome to my life sometimes i'm clueless i'll just say stuff that's not making sense so today might be the day but if it made sense to you i'm happy and if it didn't make a laugh out of it it's life don't take life too serious sometimes you have to loosen up and laugh maybe this could have been a joke no it's not a joke I was being serious all right guys I'm almost at work start your day on a positive note it's the foundation of your entire day is gonna your entire day is gonna be standing on the energy that you're starting your day with in the morning so if it's negative your day is gonna feed off that negative energy and it's gonna affect your decision making your attitude towards people and your approach to your goals situations and stuff so start your day on a positive note it's gonna help you throughout the entire day you're gonna benefit from it all right guys I'm at work see you at four o'clock all right off work now time to go pick up my kids no before I pick up my kids first I'm gonna go buy uh, the stuff my daughter wanted me to buy so when I pick up we just go home and this is my new stuff that I found at work it's gonna be hanging outside my door <laughs> hey hey see you tomorrow bro so I picked up my Papa Ganoush I didn't go to Ika so we... I like Papa Ganoush who is Papa Ganoush? Dale. who? No, I'm not Papa Ganoush. You're Papa Ganoush. I'm, I'm not Papa Ganoush. Okay, look. Yes. You're Papa Ganoush. No. No. Yes. No. So, Emias and I are going to Ica, right? The Blue Ica. Blue Ica is close. We go to Red Ica, okay? Ica is Ica, my brother. Okay. Ica is broken. Yeah, we go to that Ica, okay? If Ica is yeah. It can, it's close. Can we go to that one? Yes. Okay. So we go to that Ika and then we go pick up some, okay? Okay. I missed you. I think take if take go away. I take that red Ika. If take that way the my truck and give it to bed. Yeah. I was very comfort. Yeah. Amias. Yes. I missed you. Missed you. I love you. I love you, man. What did you see? I love you. What the thing that? No, I love ah. you. What the thing No, that? I love you. Two. I love you. What the thing No, I love you. No, I can't love you, but you. <laughs> okay. At you. Bless you. At you. I bless you. At you. Bless you. Hey, you wanna walk? No okay. Are you sure? Yes, I'm sure. You don't wanna walk? No. Why? But, the, but the, now, so I need so tired. Are you tired? So you yeah. can walk? No. Okay. Do you want to take the basket? I, I can leave now. Amy, yes, you're so strong. Ah. Whoa. What? Sorry. Come. Hmm. What? What do you take a Sonic? You're so strong. Amy, yes, we are going to buy bacon. It's here. Daddy, are you see Sonic yes. and Tails? Yeah, come. No, can it see Sonic and Tails? Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Hurry up. I had I come in. Oopsie. I, I am okay. Are you okay? Yes, I'm okay. Good. So, Emias, yes. this is what we are doing. We are buying bacon, okay? Bacon. That's bacon. That is bacon. Yeah. How many should we buy? Not three. Three. Are you okay? No, Emias, look, we'll buy that one. It's a lot. What? We'll buy this one. Look. 
Oh, I told. Okay. Two. Three. Three. Four. Four. Five. You're good now. That's good. Let's go. And you, you, you need help? Oh. Wow. You're so strong. Let's go. Let me help you. Yes. Look, we need this. Look at me. Yes. We need this. Can you reach it? Can you take it? I can't take. You can't reach it? No. Why? I can't lift take this. Can you jump and take it? <laughs> try. One, two, three, go. Yeah. Ah, nice try. I can lift. I know. You I can, can try. You, but I can take it, okay? You can take this, this. Yeah. All right. Let's go. I yes. What have we bought? Can you tell us what we have bought in there? What's in there? I don't know. No, in here. You know. What is this? I don't know. Okay. And what is that? The chocolate. Oh, that you know. And what is that? What's this? Yeah. I don't know. All right. Good. Give me. Hurry up. Yes, bring the rest. Fast, fast, fast. Come on, come on. Good job. One. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. Three. Good job. And then the rest. Look at you with one arm. Oh, so strong. Look at this beautiful sunshine. What's Emma's holding? What's that? That's, we went to Ica to buy the stuff. Hey, I missed you. Good to see you. Did you have a good day, sweetheart? Yeah. Alright, it's because you didn't want us to uh, pick you up. You wanted us to go buy the stuff and then yeah. pick you up. So we already bought and then... So I need to go to this. And you find some bars. Yeah. That I is. need to go to this No, but you can show me. So, sweetheart, this is what we're going to do. We're going to go home. You're going to eat one of those. And Emma's going to eat one. And then I'm going to start cooking. I'm going to start frying the bacon because the mashed potato is easy to make. And I bought, I found, I have the, a friend of mine bought me the, the blender to make like, the machine to make the potato mash. You know? Yeah. So it's easier. So you're going to be in the living room, you can watch something. But daddy, mm -hmm. you made it hard, hard before. I know, I, I tasted, that was horrible. But sweet as you could tell me when you're in a, you can be open like, daddy, this is, ugh, this is not good. So I know, so I can make, you don't have to eat it if it's not there. But the one I made before was good, right? Daddy, I was eating the soft part. I had a little soft That's why you didn't part. finish it? Yeah. <laughs> Come on, Selma. You can't do that to me. You have to tell me if it's not good. You're not supposed to eat something if it's not a... Just tell me. We have different types of food. If it's not good, tell me, Daddy. I don't want it to be like this. Can I just... Daddy, one time... Okay, how about when I'm making it, you are coming and tell me, like, put this... This is enough. This is less. How about that? Yeah. All right. But and daddy, I'm going to be in the living room and then you just call me when I'm like... Alright, okay. I would definitely do that. Dad? You have to close. You go! Am I better at filming? What? Am I better at filming? I'm not sure. I will see when you're done. <laughs> Emias, do you think she's better at filming? Look at her. Look at Selma. <laughs> what was that sound? Nothing, That. Selma, Emias. Emias. Hey! Hey, bro, where's my money? Hey, where's my money? Hey, where's my money? Hey, where's my money? Where's my money? Where's my money? Hey, where's my money? Where's my money, homie? Hey, where's my money? Hey. Dad, I'm better at filming this. Where's my money? Daddy! Yeah? You stop right there. Yeah, you're ready. I think you're good at filming, Selma. No. Yeah. Come here. Selma will come home here. You. Welcome home, Sel. Thanks. Are you Welcome Selma? Daddy. Are you Selma? No, I'm not Selma. I'm India. Then why did you answer when I say Welcome home, Sel? Thanks. You're welcome. Emias, you wanna sit in the water, in the bathtub, in the water? Uh, no, I want to play. Then play up. Then I want to play. Yeah, you can have to play in the water and then shower later. This is the plan. Now that we are here. I'll put the water in the tub so my son can start playing in the water and start cooking while he's in there 
and then when I'm done cooking, I'll give him a bath and then we eat. So we we'll see you guys when we are eating. Wash your hair. No. Amias, Amy wash your hair. Amias, listen to the boss of the house. We have to wash our hands. All right, so that's what we're gonna you do. You too. Yeah. I, I gotta go. See you guys soon. All right, so this is what I'm making. Bacon, fried bacon with mashed potato paste. But I'll start with bacon first. Cooking oil, well. fry the bacon. And then I handle this. My kids are playing in the bathtub, showering, so I cook this and then go give them a bath and then we eat. So that's the plan. So when I fry the bacon, I always put it on a plate of course, but this is the trick that I discovered. You put a paper towel on the plate where you're putting the bacon, so before you eat the paper towel, it's going to suck in all the cooking oil. So the bacon won't be oily. I do it like that. You know, you learn these tricks, the more you cook. So right now I'm going to shut up and I'm going to put music in the background and I'm going to fast forward the video. So, so we can do this fast. While this is cooking, I'll set up the table too. You guys okay? Okay. Butter and milk is going in the potato mash. I'm coming. Bacon is done. Now I just need to make this the potato mash. And then we do. Come. Wait, wait, come.
Come, give me a leg. Okay. Look. Okay. That book is cooking like a poop. Can't play the mustard fox. I can't take play the mustard fox. Daddy, you can't play the escapade and get the mustard escapade. Look at me. I love you. Like you yeah, can go play with monster truck now. I can't. You can do it. Oh my god. Go. go. Alright, so the food is done. The kids have showered. So this is the paste. That's bacon. And it's time to cook it up. Yeah, cook it up. We're ready to cook it up. One, two, three, ta -da! I just made the food come. If that doesn't make any sense. I want to wash the phone. Yeah, I'll give you a phone in here. Mind your business. I'm just kidding. Yeah. If that didn't, didn't yeah, make any sense, give it a like. So, you tell me to stop? Stop. Thank you, Papa. Thank you, Papa. You're welcome. Wait, we pray, please. I know. I'm just protecting it. Wait, 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 wait. Emias, I have a surprise for you.
Thank you. Thank you, ah. YouTube family, for supporting us. Peace out. When we are when uh, when we are filming and making videos. And thank you for the nice messages that you have gave me on my birthday. I really appreciate those. And I hope thank you for everything. Thank you for and I have one last thing. Why is the bird so loud? What? Why is the bird so loud? From outside? Yeah, I can hear them from all the way here. Okay. Elias, is there one thing I'm busy eating? Is there one thing you want to say? <laughs> Elias, say one thing. You put an M in M. That's Elias. Take a break, my brother. Elias, do you wanna say something? No thanks. Okay, no thanks. So sorry. Okay. So my daughter's in the vlog. See you guys tomorrow. Peace out.